If you want to become an Azure Administrator Associate, you will need to earn the certificate of AZ104. And with that certificate, you can become an Azure Administrator Associate. But before you can actually sit for that exam, you will need to learn a lot in about Azure. So in this series of video, I'll be taking you into the world of into the practical world of Azure. So which means that we're, we're going to be reviewing, for example, um, a simple question that will be asked during that exam, and then I will show you how to actually create it or how to fix that solve that problem in um, in the real world using practicals. So for example, we have this following. We have the following question: Your company has several departments. Each department has a number of virtual machines. So the company has an Azure subscription that contains a resource group named ROG1. And all virtual machines are located in ROG1. So you want to associate each virtual machine with the respective department. What should you do? So you can see we have about four different answers. And one of these answers is the right answer. Here you can see, for example, the right, the right answer is assign tags to the virtual machine. So if I go to my Azure tenant, let's go to my Azure tenant, and then you can see we have a virtual machine. So here I have three virtual, three virtual machines, and if you are working for a company, you may have like hundreds of virtual machines. So now, how do you actually verify if, for example, this virtual machine belongs to the sales department or this belongs to the ICT department? So what you need to do is to go to the virtual machine and then hit tag in overview. You can see we have a tag already assigned to this automatically, but we can, for example, I can say this belongs to the ICT, ICT department. We can add a value here and just call this just we just add a value Johnson, which for example, you can see that the manager of that department, and then hit apply. Then we can also do the same for the DC001. We can say, well, this belongs to the sales department. This server belongs to the sales department. And then I can just add Kelvin there and then click apply. Well, mind you, when you are trying to create a tag, you can see it's, if you are using a small letter, it's going to be, if I use sales, for example, with small letter, then I have a different tag entirely. So if I'm using sales, for example, the Kelvin is small letter, you must make sure that you use the same letter, capital letter or small letter. If not, you'll be having a total different tag. So here, for example, we can say this belongs also to the sales department and the, the manager is Kelvin. So let's just hit apply. So after it's in apply, so what we want, we want to do right now is the following. If I go to my search and then just enter tags, and here you see we have tag. So now you can see we have different tags here. For example, if I click sales, you can see we have just one device is still trying to refresh. Now we have two device that belongs to the sales department. And if I go to the ICT, you can see we just have one device. So if I am, if I tag, for example, like 20 device to be sales, definitely here I can see the, the, the all the, the devices that belong to the sales department, and then I can export this to a CSV file. You can see the file has just been exported, and then we can now open the file and see you can see the all the information, and then probably you can send this info to the manager. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please, if you find this video interesting, don't forget to like and also help you can also share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to help me grow my channel.